Let's say that life is like a river and you're traveling along this river in a boat. There are gonna be parts of the river that are super calm and serene and you could basically just take oh. a nap and bask in the sunshine and oh. all is well. And then soon enough, you hit a rocky patch where the water is a bit shallow and you gotta work a little bit harder to keep moving. There are gonna be parts of the river that are pretty extreme, such as waterfalls oh, no, no, or no. rapids that you have to learn to navigate around. But luckily those parts don't last forever and you can get through them with a certain amount of patience and skill. Of course, everyone has a boat, they're all traveling down the river, but if you have an oar with you, if you have a life jacket, a compass, a flashlight, if you have any kind of navigation with you at all, traveling down that river is just going to be more smooth, more seamless, more safe, and more enjoyable altogether. These tools in life could be anything from minimalism to diet to an exercise routine, morning routine. It could include journaling, meditation, reading about things in books, listening to informative podcasts, learning to perfect habits or productivity. All of these can be tools in your arsenal, tools in your toolbox that can help you to navigate the waters of life. Whether you have a destination in mind that you're trying to get to, or your entire goal is to just explore the river, yes! you're going to need some kind of tools to help you get there. The thing is, if you want these tools, you have to collect them and you have to build them and you have to refine them over time, depending on how they have worked in your previous experiences. So if we keep the metaphor going, if you pull your boat over to the shore and you start working on making the best oar possible, the best tool to navigate the water possible, but you find yourself spending more time working on the oar than you do actually navigating the river, then there's a bit of an imbalance there. And I think this is what people talk about when they say that they're obsessed with self-development or they're obsessed with minimizing all of their objects or all they can care about is productivity and building habits, but they're not actually using those skill sets that they've earned, that they've developed over time in the real world to do anything. It's good to spend time refining your tools. You don't necessarily need to just try to navigate the river without any tools, but honestly, I would rather navigate the river without any tools than to only spend my life on the shore collecting and refining these tools that are never actually used. The ironic thing is that if you want to create the best ore ever, you're going to have to put it to the test at some point. So if we think of this as a morning routine, for example, I could sit here for hours, for days, trying to come up with the best morning routine, but if I don't actually apply it to my life and try it out and give it enough of a time period that I'm able to figure out what is good about the morning routine and what could be improved about the morning routine, and then I pull my boat back to the side of the shore and refine that tool, and then get back out on the water and see how well those refinements have increased the utilization of this tool. If you don't have that balance between being on the shore and being in the water, then you're never going to create the best oar anyways. You need that time spent on the water to find where you're lacking in your tool set in order to then go back and refine your tool set. It honestly saddens me when people start to wrap their identity around a certain diet or being highly productive or being very organized, and yet you're not actually applying those things to getting anything else done. You're not actually using those things to live your life and create joy and happiness. You're just focused only on the tools themselves. If you're feeling stuck, it's probably because you are on the shoreline with your boat. Oh man. Rather than traveling down the river. You might find that you don't even need any tools and you have more fun 
living your life on the river without any kind of special skill development, without any kind of special routines, but living life is so much more fulfilling than just being on the shoreline, dreaming about living life, saying someday, once I perfect this oar, I'll get back out on the river. Just, just get back on the river now. You can perfect your oar as you go. I mean, even just these YouTube videos, if you go back and watch my other old YouTube videos, they're completely different than what I do now. And I'm sure that this is gonna change in the future too. I'm already starting to get bored with this format. Doesn't help that I'm stuck in this apartment all the time. It is less important that you have the correct gear and the perfect skill set, and more important that you're actually making something and you're trying to apply your current skill set and current toolbox to life. You're going to get so much farther if you start applying as much as possible and perfecting from there, rather than just trying to stay over on the shore and guess at what the perfect tool might be. That's it, that's all I got. Till next time.